Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for a few minutes. I want to talk again about the Christian God, that Christians that I have met throughout my life from many denominations, Catholicism all the way to the Latter-day Saints. They don't believe in this Christ, and it's right in the scriptures, and I believe it is the ultimate truth. Jesus said, I am the truth. There's no other Christ, there's no other truth. He said, I am the truth, not just a truth. So let us get to what all of our spiritual teachers throughout the Old Testament, the New Testament, all of our spiritual teachers in Judaism and Christianity have been pointing to. And that is the God of uh, Israel, the Lord God of the Torah, Yahweh, Jehovah. The Latter-day Saints call him the pre-existent Jesus Christ who was made flesh on earth. The word that was God and was with God. Notice he couldn't be with anyone else. He was God but could only be with God. And we're going to tell you why that is right now. This is the Christian God I have seen people blasphemy. And I sat through their sermons and didn't realize that's what they were doing. But they were alluding to some other God. Not the God of the Bible. I don't care how many times they have been taught this by other generations that preceded them. I don't care how many times they have been taught this through their pastors, ministers, teachers, preachers. I'm going to tell you about the ultimate God. That is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Jesus said, I'm not the beginning. He, he said, I'm the beginning and the end, not I'm the beginning or the end, like one or the other instead. Oh, no. Eternal truth is the eternal truth because no matter how much it is born into the earth, and he was born, it still remains unborn even as it is born. It is eternal, deathless. It is also why the Alpha and Omega is, and not just the Alpha and Omega instead. Because why you are also is what you are. For without why you are, you could not be what you are. So, people, you are not just what you are instead in your mind as you have thought. This is a bold, bold statement, but it is biblical. And all of the teachings of Jesus Christ pointed to the truth that he is. And I'm going to start with Isaiah. This is the Christ that when I was a Latter-day Saint, they never taught me of for 26 years. I was a full-time missionary for their church for two years, served honorably. I went through all of their programs and served many callings in their church, yet they never spoke of this Christ. In fact, describe Jesus Christ as something other than what I'm about to tell you right now. Big drum roll. He said, and I'm not taking it out of context. In Isaiah, he said, I am the Lord God. He said, there is no other, no other God. Now, we all establish that because everyone seems to agree with that in Judeo-Christianity. But then he went on. With a semicolon, not a period, he, he wasn't done in Isaiah 46, verse 9. I am the Lord God, and there is none else. Now, I want you to think about all your desires. I don't want you to judge them now. Jesus commanded you, do not judge. And you're going to understand why. And put the pieces together through this video. And you're going to see Jesus Christ in a way you've never seen him before. Thank God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you the truth. He said, I am the truth. There is no other truth. The Lord God said that he is the Lord God. There is no other, no other God. And there is none else. So your desires, everything you have made, everything you have ever claimed to have made, your children, everything you have ever thought or thought you created with your mind, Everything was created by the Son of God, for the Son of God, the New Testament says, and through the Son of God, and without the Son of God would it be. It's even made of the Son of God. And I've told you, in English, they have hidden it in plain sight, the root word for sound, which is the logos in Greek in John chapter 1. The word, the sound, is S-O-N, as in the word sonar, sonic, sonogram, it's the Son of God. All things were made by the sound, the word, the Son of God. And God and his voice are one. The Spirit of God in Genesis, that Spirit was, listen to how we say it, the Spirit that was, it's the Spirit of God. It was of God. And God is a Spirit. Now you go, how can a Spirit have flesh and bones? Because the truth is, Spirit 
is the truth of all flesh and bones and blood and everything that we've ever called flesh. We think that flesh is separate from spirit in this world. It isn't. Spirit is the truth of flesh, and flesh has not made anything else but what it is composed of, which is spirit. And there would be not anything that is at all in this world. He said, it said in the Greek, it said he made all on earth and all in heaven, the Son of God, all in heaven. He even said, my Father in heaven. Our Father in heaven. Well, guess what? The Son of God made all in heaven. You go, well, how can he be the word, the sound, without the Father? He is not without the Father. He said, the Father is within me. The Father's in me, and I'm in the Father. For in and out are only with each other, for they are opposites. I want you to think of all the things you thought some other being created. I want you to think throughout your life every time you've ever said you made something or some other person out there in the world made something. I want you to think about that because that is so downright anti-biblical. It is time you face the truth. The soul being that is, the soul being that is, is the truth, the Christ. Who says otherwise has denied the truth and there is no truth in them, the scriptures say. There is something called the lie. The lie depends upon, upon the truth to be the lie. And what is the lie? All is not God. All is not God is the lie. That means multiplicity and separations of forms, beings, spirits, and thoughts and people. That is a lie. But I'm going to tell you, it is true. There is something different. You say, if it's a lie, how can it be true? Bear with me. The opposite of the lie is the truth. Jesus said, I'm the truth. Now, all that is true, can you have anything that is true without the truth? He composes and constitutes all that is true. True and the lie are synonymous. There needs to be an opposition in all things. Everything that is true is made of the Christ. And it is the lie. But the lie is true. It is the true lie. And what is that? That we are all separate from each other. That is the veil. That separates and partitions the one mind of God into the many minds we call each one of us, including yours. But separation is made of not, but its opposite, called not separation. Without not separation, you cannot have separation. So all you're going to find within separation is not separation. Why? Here is the sin to deny that this is a synonym. Separate, not separate. Those are synonyms, and they mean the exact same thing. That's why opposites mean the same thing and are not adversaries. Adversary is the Hebrew word for Satan. Ad means to add as a prefix to the root word, which is ver, an adversary. V-E-R, the root word ver, means the truth. Jesus said, I'm the truth. You add to the truth? No, you don't. For every time you add to the truth, you subtract from the truth. But the truth is the truth and remains the eternal truth, even in the midst of what some call the mist of darkness. Why do they call this world the mist of darkness? Because just like many particles of mist in a cloud on a misty day can obscure your vision, you don't see the mystery because of the mist. The mystery is this, there is more particle, there is more than one particle of mist in the mist of darkness. That's why it's mist, because of the opposite. And the opposite of more than one particle of mist is not more than one particle of mist. It is just one particle of mist being every particle of mist. It is just one God. It is just one God being every one. And that is the Son of God. Without the sound could the speaker which is in the in the godhead we call that the father could the speaker be the speaker without the sound without the word so the speaker depends upon the word to be called the speaker 
The father depends upon the son in Christianity in order to be called the father. If he had no son, he could not be called the father. But yet the sound, the speaker, the son of God depends upon the father to be called the son. And he said, I and my father are one. They depend up and on each other because they are two sides of the same proverbial coin. And that one coin in this metaphor is the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God. Without God, the Spirit of God would not be. But would, the, would God be God without the Spirit of God? No, they are the same. They depend upon each other. The sound of God is the Son of God. And by that sound, all things were made, including the sons of God. Now, who are the sons of God? They are made of God and not anything else. And that is man. Man also is the root word for hand. Look it up. We are God's hands. And he and his hands are one. And that's the importance of the symbology and the meaning of Jesus on the cross, who did not deny his hands. The first letter to the word Yahweh in Hebrew is the letter Y. And every single Hebrew letter is actually, for all of you who've studied Hebrew, every letter, they are actually words in Hebrew. Hebrew, in the Hebrew language, they make words with words. They make sentences with words, but they also make words with words. Well, in English, we just have letters and make letters into words. All of their 22 Hebrew alphabet letters are words. And the Y in the word Yahweh means Yod, spelled Y-O-D, which means hand. Man, manual, manuscript, man, we were made by the hand of God. And Adam's name means hand. That's what man is. We are the hands of God. Do you understand? And God, every part of his body, is eternal and glorious. Not one part of his body is more glorious or less glorious than any other part of his body. From his hand, to his head, to his face. The head of God, the Godhead, the Godhead and the God body are two. They're not two instead, for they are not separate. Even though they're separate, they're not separate instead. That's why he's not beheaded. Because they are one. His head and his body are one. And we are also the body of God. Jesus knew this. That's why he was the son of God. He was, and he said he is the light of the world and told all that follow him. And those that didn't follow him, he still told them the truth of what they were, even if they reject it. You are the light of the world. That's what he called himself. I am the light of the world. And he said, you are. You are what I am. Got it? That is why. Inasmuch, he said, the king will say in that day. And Jesus Christ prophesied, Yeshua prophesied in the New Testament. Inasmuch. The king will say, inasmuch as you've done it unto the least of your brothers, you do that to me. And who is the king? Christ is the king. But there is none else. So if you think Christ is the king instead of someone else, your version of Christ is diabolical and not the truth. In order for Christ to be the king instead of someone else, there has to be someone else. But he said, there is none else. There's no other God and there is none. None means two words. The N means no, and then there's one, none. There's no one else. Now who says that is not the truth? How many Christians say, no, I'm sorry, Jesus. There really are other people besides you. And there's someone else like me and then my neighbor's someone else and my enemy and, and all the non-believers, you know, there's someone else. He says, no, that's not the truth. But they reject the truth. So they say that. And in order for that to be, 
So there has to be the lie and the liar from the beginning called the devil. And that's what he says. So those that depend upon that lie, they are listed as his dependents. For you must depend upon that lie in order to say that Christ the truth is not all that is. You must say, no, Lord God, there's someone else. Now you depend upon a lie. That is totally anti-biblical in its teaching in order to have and profess there really is someone else besides God. Even in time and space for a moment. No. So those that say that depend upon the liar from the beginning, the devil, who says there's someone else. And tries to separate man from God with a lie. And so they depend upon the liar and his lie. They are dependent upon the lie. What you are dependent upon, you are listed as one of its dependents. And just like in the tax language of the IRS in the United States, they ask you to list your dependents. They're telling you to list your children. That's why Jesus looked square at those Pharisees in the New Testament and said, you have the devil for your father. You depend upon the lie that there really is someone else besides God. Is that what you believe? As you believe, so shall it be then. Is that the truth, though? No, it isn't. And so, as you believe, so shall it be. And so, they will be in hell. Why? Because God honors their desires. Because the true God knows he is all beings. He knows that. He knows the logic. He knows the logos. He knows the truth. He knows the word. He is the word and is with the word. The Lord God is, is the word and is with the word. I mean, it was God. And God can only be with God because there is none else. So the word was God and was with God and they are two. They are not two instead. What is the root word? What is the root of two or more? Let's just stick with two now. Father, son. In the, in the Godhead, two. The root of two is its opposite, for without its opposite, it would not be two. So the root of two is called not two. They are one, and that one is the Holy Spirit. And the Father and the Son are complete manifestations of that Holy Spirit. And they are two separate. What's the root of separate? Not separate. Don't forget that. Separate is made of not separate. Are you going to deny what constitutes it, which is its opposite? If you do, you're denying the constitution of all beings. And so there is no truth in you. And all that you call yourself, you are saying the lie is the truth instead. That which is true is the truth instead. No, it isn't. Your history is true. But that's not the truth instead. For without the truth, and Jesus Christ said, I'm the truth, you could not even have your history. So your history is true because of the truth. But it does not say when something that is true called the lie. Remember, lie is the opposite of truth. But so is true. Because that which is true depends upon the lie to be true. And the lie depends upon the truth in order to be called the lie. It's the same thing. So. It is like this. The lie is a pretend. God sent all of us to this moment in time, and that's why it is called the pre-sent moment. And from the eternal undying truth that was never born, just like they say of Melchizedek, who was without father, without mother, beginning of days and end of years, that is the eternal and no matter how many times that one is born as you, me, your children that you have called your children, which are God's children. Every time God is still unborn for that which constitutes all that is born is its opposite called not born. So all are born, but that doesn't mean they're born instead. So your birth on earth is true, but it's not the truth. So you must be born again. And then that will be true. And then what? You must be born again. I'm telling you the truth. Heaven and earth are two 
but they're not two instead. They are two because they're one. On earth, as it is in heaven, and heaven will be on earth. And if you are in heaven, that will be on earth. And every time you're born on earth, you are born in heaven. But this world is not the true heaven. Why? It dared say it was the truth instead. That is why the Apostle Paul said the God of this world is Satan. Just letting you know. Satan says, I am God instead of you. Now, he was given dominion over this earth, given it to it by God. So because he has dominion over the earth, he tells those people in their hearts and their minds, I'm God instead of you. You're not God at all. And that's the truth of you. That's a lie. Because he said, I'm the Lord God and there is none else. So you're the Lord God, I say to that one, instead of someone else. But the Lord God of the Bible said there is none else. So my desires are my desires instead of yours. No. Who made all things? Let's take a look at this sinner or that sinner. Oh, you see how many sins they made? You have no idea what you are saying. They didn't make anything. The Son of God made all things. It says it in John chapter 1, verse 3, and many times throughout the New Testament. And you keep saying, no, that's not true. It is true. That's why you were not to judge anyone. Elohim, the word Elohim means judges. It also means gods, and not one more than the other. You were called Elohim, each one of you, man, woman, and children. All of you. You are all the children of God, and ain't one of you the adult of God. Lest you commit adultery and deny the one union that is eternal, which always is anyway, which is that all is one. One what? Truth. But what is that? Everything that is true, too, is that, but not that instead. Because he is steady, and instead means not stead or unstead for unsteady. God is steady. He's never left the throne. Then how will he inherit it? He inherits it by knowing he never left it. Because that's the eternal truth. Adam and Eve were cast out of the Garden of Eden. They're out, not out instead. For all that is out is made of its opposite, in. So either be in or out, hot or cold, light or dark. But if you are lighter than the dark, you are not light at all. And if you are darker than the light, you are not dark at all. That is a lie. If you are hotter than cold, or colder than hot, then you're neither hot nor cold. And in the book of Revelations, he said that I will spit you out my mouth. Do you understand? Either hot or cold, light, dark, these are opposite to each other. And they testify of each other. For just like two sides of the same house, they are no, not two separate houses. That is the eternal truth of every one of us. You and all that you have ever called not you, which is every other man, woman, and child, the land, the air, the universe, the animals, and God, put all that is not you on one side, which is your opposite now, and you. Without all that, would you be you instead? So in the stead of you are all things. And you, would that be you, not you instead, if you weren't you? You are within the stead of all things too. Without the creator, would the created be? The creator, ironically, depends upon the created in order to be called the creator. If there was no, not one piece of creation or not creation, no creation at all, the creator would be the creator? No. And likewise, the creation depends upon the creator to be the creation because they are two sides of the same proverbial one coin. Now that you know both sides are the same one, 
Now I want you to take that proverbial coin and look at everything else that is not that coin in the metaphor, including the proverbial coin you are holding, you and everything else that is not that coin. That goes over here, and now you have opposite, the coin and all that is not the coin. And you just do the same thing. The truth is that two are one. When we see division, we see division instead. The word division means this. The root word is vision. D-I means to cut, like dissect. You cut your vision in two with your two eyes, then your eye is not single. Because the reason you have two eyes is to have one vision and not have two separate visions instead. Do you understand? So, Jesus said, I'm here to sow division. Division, the opposite of division, is multiplication. That is why in Genesis you were told to multiply and replenish the earth. You were told to multiply the earth and replenish the earth. Have you multiplied the earth? Yes, you have. By having children. You mean each of our children are the earth? Each of your children are the earth. And not one of them is the earth instead. Adam never ceased to be the earth. For he still was what he was made of. For without the earth would he have been the dust of it. And the breath of life was given to the dust of the earth. Without the breath of life, and Jesus said, I'm the life, with that breath, that spirit, spirit is another word for breath, like respiration, inspiration, spirit, spirit. That's what it means. Abel's name in the Old Testament in Hebrew means breath. We don't deny the breath, the spirit. So without the life, and Jesus said, I am the life, would that breath of life been given? And without the earth, would the dust of the earth be able to receive it? So, Adam was made of the earth and brought forth from the earth. Eve was made of Adam and brought forth from Adam. And that is called another. An is a prefix that means not for a reason. It's not other. It's the same one being two. And all that came forth from Eve and Adam is Adam. But some are women. All that came forth from man is woman. You And Adam's name means man. It doesn't mean anything else. Do you understand? And it, But except for in English, it coincidentally, the designers of English, which is actually just designed by God, made sure that there was a clue there that man is the root word for hand. He wanted you to know your connection to God. Now, does the serpent have hands? Think back in the serpent, the Garden of Eden. Does serpent, do serpents have hands? They deny their hands and say, we're God instead. We're God instead of man. And that is from another Abrahamic religion that tells the same story this way. The Muslims, that is what they call Iblis, that we call in Judea Christianity, Satan, the devil, the serpent. He denies man is no hands. Why? He's too good for his hands. Iblis would never bow to Adam, even though in the Islamic stories, I know it's Islam, but still they know about Judeo-Christian. They were telling the same story. They said that God asked all the angels and God, he said to bow to Adam, which just means you are worthy. That's all it means, that Iblis would not. Iblis is known as the serpent in the Garden of Eden. No, I will not bow to man. And I am not man. But that's a lie. Because it says about the devil more than once in the scriptures. It says he's the man of sin. The man of lawlessness. They just call him man. It says when they see the devil, it says this in the Old Testament. They will say that was the man who caused the world to shake. Now what's the lie? The devil says, I'm not man. Yes, you are. That's why on the sixth day of creation, God made Adam, which means man. So just say it the way it is. God made Adam in his own image and likeness. That's what the Hebrew says. Male and female made he multiple them. 
Male or female made he them? No, male and female made he them. There was more than one, and they were each male and female. One wanted to be on top and always be the male instead. But they were both made of male and female, each one of them. And the one that wanted to be the male instead and dominate over the other. Because that one denied the opposite in that one and said, I'm male instead, not male and female. We are not even Adam, one Adam said to the other. You are female instead. No. And that one was called Lilith, and that one left the garden. And then there was the Sabbath day, after the sixth day, when man was created, Adam was created on the sixth day. No mention of the name Eve there, for a reason. Just Adam. And then there was the day of rest, the seventh day, that God sanctified and called it holy and set it apart. And then God said, as you keep reading in Genesis, it is not good for Adam to be alone. It is not good for man to be alone. Same thing. That's what it means. Why was man alone? He made them on the seven, on the sixth day. Now the Sabbath and now man's alone? Oh, Lilith would not come back. They are called the Jen. And Lilith became the mother of all demons. And because she wanted to be male instead, she just became her opposite for you need, there will needs be an opposition in all things. Whatever you judge another to be, you will be judged the same. She said the other is female instead, which is a lie. So that one is known as female instead and is a demon. And that one is Iblis. Iblis and Lilith from the Jewish stories of Lilith are the same one. And she became the mother of all demons and nature spirits. Now, I do not put the nature spirits down, for I will tell you what I believe and know the truth, that without the truth, which is God, would they be? God is within all of them, but they deny it by saying, we're the truth instead, we're the gods. And they pose as even the blue, have you ever seen the iconic images of genies, the jinn, the genies? They're blue. Now go over to Hindu gods. Krishna, blue. Wow. We're the blue bloods. We're true. We're the true ones instead of you. We were here first, Adam. One Adam says to the other, because they were both made from the dust of the earth. But God decided, this time, I'm going to make something called a woman. And she will be male and female, just like Adam. Because Adam was, is male and female. So don't call her female instead. Call her woman. Which woe, the W-O, means to be called forth, brought forth from Adam. He, she will be Adam, brought forth from Adam. Woe, Adam, woe, man. Man brought forth from man. And she will be male and female. And Adam is male and female. And they are even. And that was Eve. And she was made after the Sabbath day, on the eighth day which is the first day of the next week. Do you understand? That is Eve. Don't confuse female, the word female for woman, because Eve is female, but she's not female instead. She was male and female until the fall of Adam, where she followed that serpent who came back to Eden and saw that Adam was more than one now. Remember the opposite of more than one? The opposite of more than one is called not more than one. It's still just Adam. Now we have Adam and woe Adam. She was woman, but she's still man. So all that is brought forth from Adam is still just Adam, but they are called woe Adam. And you say, but Adam was not woman. And I say, that is not so. He was brought forth from the earth and made of the earth. You were to multiply and replenish the earth. That means Adam. I didn't know the earth and Adam mean the same thing. They don't exactly because Adam was called brought forth from the earth and given the breath of life. Now, Eve was not given the breath of life. She did not need the breath of life because it was already given to man. 
So she inherits that as being that which is man that comes forth from man. For the Bible says the W-O means to be brought forth from. So she was Adam brought forth from Adam, man brought forth from man, same thing, well, man. Now that serpent came along because it said, in the day you shall eat that fruit, the knowledge of good or evil, no, good and evil. For those of you who think you know good or evil and say, I see, you will find out you don't see. Because those who say they see are blind. All you are to do is to know that good and evil are true. Because it was the knowledge of good and evil, not the knowledge of good or evil. Just as I told you that you hear the Jesus Christ that is preached in many denominations, they don't believe Jesus is all things. Well, Jesus will not make them wrong. He'll say, you're right. So you're the someone else. Get the hints, Satan. Because I said, I'm the Lord God and there is none else. I don't have to make sure of that. Because it is the eternal truth and I have absolute faith. And there's just one faither, one father. And you are not more faith, more father than me. Did you know the word matter is the root word of material? For the material world, M-A-T-E-R, means mother in Latin. We don't worship the mother. Jesus never said, follow my mother. No. But this world is made of matter. Mother? No. The matter is the Son of God. And he made his mother and came through his mother. But all things were made through the Son of God, including the event called Jesus coming through the mother. The truth is the Son. This one that keeps saying, I'm the Holy Mother. I'm virgin instead of you. Do not follow that one. That one says, follow me instead. The others are wrong. That's the devil. Do you understand? You want to make your calling and election made sure? You cannot make it made sure. Christ made all things, not you. For he is the eternal truth and all things are made through, by, and for the Son. Now, until you know who you are, and what is the truth of who you are? Jesus said, I am the truth. He's the truth of every man, woman, and child. And all man, including woman, are the sons, the sounds of God, the words of God, all of the glorious lyrics in the one eternal hymn, H-Y-M-N. We are all him. Now, to think that women are a separate, entire, they are just separate. Oh no, they are not people. And the sons of God who married the daughters of men, those fallen spirits that were flung and cast into the earth because they held on to the tail of the serpent in the book of Revelation, they're going to be in for a big surprise. Those are the sons of God. You didn't know that. That is because as soon as you started following the devil, whether it be in your pre-existent state or not, you have been blinded by the lie. Those are the sons of God that have crossed through the veil and are wearing a mask called the masculine. And when you're one of the sons of God too, you, your mask can look like you are female instead. They aren't. The sons of God married the sons of God and thought they were the daughters of men. The truth of all the daughters of men are still the sons of God. You are still all the sons of God. Incarnate on earth. And by the way, incarnate means in, means not. Carn, from carnate, means meat, flesh. You are not flesh here. It looks like flesh. It feels like flesh. The truth of it is that this is not real flesh here. It is only flesh because it is made of pure spirit. And every bit of it is. That's why it's not spirit instead. Because it is already spirit. So it does not need to be spirit instead. And while it's being flesh, it never ceased to be spirit. 
and those that know that understand the truth of all flesh. I'm telling you the truth, and Christ said, I am the truth. Everything, every thought you have ever said, I have a thought. I thought about this. I am thinking. I am doing. I am eating. I am doing these things. First of all, the words I am, biblical, are the, are the spiritual meaning of the Lord God's name, I am. You were referring to yourself instead. I'm telling you the truth. Until you see God everywhere, 100%. You are still being tested. And you required the tester. And the tester is called the devil in order to be tested. You're going to say, I did? Yes. You did. And would there be a test called life? By the way, Jesus never said, I am the way, the truth, the life, and the test. Oh, no. But you can turn it into that. And that's what you've done to your heaven on earth. Because you want to have it instead of others. And that has been going on for generations and millennia. I'm not kidding. That is why even in the Torah they did genocide. That is why there are wars. You want to stand on the earth instead of other nations. And when you have those desires in your heart. You want to be on earth instead of them, then you'll be on the opposite. And not on earth, but in earth instead. And you are the dead. And the dead sleep, and they dream, and they think they're awake. Do you understand? Until you know that all is the truth and admit that, you have not accepted Jesus Christ in your heart. When you know that all is the Christ, how do you treat others now? Otherness means apartness. The Hebrew word for that is called kodesh, which means holy. Set apart. Otherness. Apartness. All that is other than you is holy. And even all that is not holy is made of pure holiness. For without holiness would there even be the unholy. Then who are the unholy? Those that say to themselves, about themselves, or anyone else. You are unholy instead, and that's the eternal truth. That's a lie. That is not the truth. And if that's what your version of Christ had led you to say, you are following in your mind and heart the anti-false Christ. I don't care how many generations of your family have been doing that. It isn't the truth. The truth is all. 100% is and equals. Equals means is. One plus one is two. One plus one equals two. The word is means equals. The Son of God. The sound of God. And the sound of God is the truth even of the Father. And all that are in the Son of God are the Father. My Father is in me. And he said, abide in me. But not one of you are the father instead, for you will call no man on earth your father. You only have one father, Jesus said, in heaven. And heaven is always on earth, but not on earth instead. It is on earth and not on earth. But it is never not on earth instead. That is why Jesus ascended to heaven, yet he said, Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end. And where two or more are gathered, I am there. He's in heaven, but he's right here. Heaven is separate from earth, but not instead. Separation is separation, not separation instead of unity. But if you say it is instead, then you know that the separation is in the stead of unity, and you'll find nothing else in unity but separation. And nothing else in separation but unity. It is the truth in the eternal one. And that's why the eternal one is two and three and more. It is two or more, but not two or more instead of the one. For the opposite of more than one is simply not more than one. Did you think it was less than one? The opposite of more than one is not more than one. Do you see that one being all beings? Do you love God no matter how he behaves or looks? 
Well, that's tough, you say. That's why it may not be so easy for you to be a Christian, because that's how Christians see it. Now, the rest just have a form of godliness, and they rely on Christianity to be called Christian, but that's not Christian if they don't see Christ being every being, because that is the truth. And if you deny that about any man, woman, or child, or any being whatsoever, you have denied it in yourself. And so you have fulfilled the prophecy that all is not God. And you will be that which is called not God at the end. And that which is not God instead of God. That's where the lie and the liars go. They denied the eternal truth. Why would they do that? Because they just want to be higher than someone else. That's why. The eternal God, he said, I'm the Lord God, there is none else. He is the most high in Hebrew, that's El Elyon are the words, and that you can find that in the Hebrew of Psalms 82, verse 6 in the original Hebrew. It says, have I not told you that you are Elohim because you're sons of El Elyon? Now, Elohim means judges. That's why you are to do nothing but your opposite and not judge. For when you judge, I don't care if it's in a church, judicial court, and whoever on earth has been encouraging you to do that, you are saying, we see. Jesus said, those who say they see are blind. I'm telling you the truth. You were never to have done that. And I've seen many churches do that. Why do they do that? To preserve their church at the expense of Christ. Because that is anti-Christian. You are not here to prune the body of Christ. And the members of the church are the body of Christ. And he said, inasmuch as you've done it even to the least of your brothers, that's what the king will say. Jesus prophesied that. And in John in Matthew chapter 5, the least, he said, Jesus said, are those who break the least commandments. So even the least of your brothers, and that means including the greatest, you have done that to me. Now, go read Matthew chapter 25. Starting with verse 40, 36, go read all that. Did you visit me in prison? Oh, that really isn't him. That's like him. I don't see the word like in that verse. That's me, he say. I am all beings. Did you clothe me? Did you feed me? Or did you judge me? So you don't love God with all your heart, mind, and strength. For if you do, you love him no matter what. That is called unconditional love. And unconditional love is only made of its opposite, and that's called conditional. And that one condition is to love everyone unconditional. So, his love is conditional, and that's the condition. Unconditioned. Have unconditional love. For if you don't, you're denying that God, the Son of God, is the truth of all beings, and still is that truth, and always will be. Amen. Got it? Thank you very much for listening. I need to add something here. The purpose of this channel is to bring this message that I just gave you here through God. Actually, I didn't even give it to you. God did. The Son of God did through me. Except for all things are made through the Son. So all he's made through you was made through the Son too. You have to know the truth of who you are if you're a Christian. And the truth of who everyone is. And that's the message this channel is all about. When you understand that, you will see yourself, you will see every man, woman, and child in all of creation different than you ever have before. And you will understand that the lie of the devil was to separate you from that knowing and thus separate you from God. And then to say, that is the truth instead. That is not the truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. And I bear witness that what I said is the truth. For he has made it known to me through the Spirit. And all things are made through the Son, so ultimately he is that Spirit. I love you. Thank you very much.